Today we got the Chris Vector. Going to have some fun. Let's start the show. Hello my friends, it's FPS Russia again and I've got a video here that you guys have been requesting for a while. So this is the Chris Vector. It's a 45 ACP submachine gun and it screams. So you can see right here, this thing is extremely compact. You throw the uh, folding stock on there, fold it up. It's going to fit into just about any carry case, any Pelican case. It's about iPhone 6 plus size, something like that. A few of the little features and uh, looking around the gun. One thing I like a lot, the barrel is pretty much perfectly in line with the trigger. That's keeping the recoil impulse coming straight back where you like it, nice and low. Also, because it's a Chris Vector, it's got that recoil mitigation system. So the bolt's not reciprocating back and forth like this. It's coming down, recoil's being absorbed and coming back up. That's what makes a Vector a Vector. And that's part of why the rate of fire is over 1,200 rounds per minute. You're going to see when we put this thing in two round burst, each of those rounds are pretty much side by side without very much effort on my end. There's a couple different ways you can pick these up. Obviously, this one has the folding stock. You can also get the version like this, like I like, with the M4 stock. This one just fits me better. I like it a lot more. Obviously, got their uh, suppressor on here. We're going to have a lot of fun today, so let's get to it. Okay, so we got our ballistics gel down there, and I've got some 45 ACP rip ammo in here. This is really impressive stuff. You guys have seen me shoot the 9mm and the 380. The 45 ACP is brand new, and I think these double taps coming from the Chris are going to be really devastating downrange. So let's check it out. So let's go down the range. I'm pretty sure that was going to tear that target all to pieces. All right, so let's take a look. I'm pretty sure this guy didn't make it. So as you turn it sideways, we can see a lot of those impacts coming through here. But the really telling thing is on the back. I'm going to be careful not to make this fall. So these are the cores of the bullet. Obviously all those little beautiful flower petals peeled off and made their uh, wound channels, but you've also got the base of each round. You see those back here and those carried all the way through the ballistics gel, all the way through the back. So these are some really impressive rounds. And as you look through here, it's just full of tiny pieces of copper and each of one, each one of those are like a razor blade making their own wound channel, doing tons of damage really really dangerous round very effective and it ran well at the machine gun too so i'm impressed let's try something else okay so we got our paint stacked up down there we're actually running some plus p ammo here it's more powerful ammunition and i want you to pay attention i want you to listen closely as we go through the video and you can actually hear the difference in the rate of fire between the plus p ammunition and some of the regular ball ammunition versus incendiary that uh, will break out a little earlier but let's get messy So now that we've made a nice big mess for someone else to clean up, I got something else I want to show you and this is going to be pretty impressive and I've actually got some cool gear to uh, destroy so let's go over there. So one of my favorite YouTube channels is DM Pranks. They uh, dress up in a scary freaking clown costume and prank people on the street smashing fake skulls and stuff like that. Well they were kind enough to send me their clown costume and we're going to barbecue it along with our pig pimp over there. So. Let's warm things up. So our pig pimp didn't go off the first time, but we rigged him back up. Don't think he's getting away this time. I absolutely love that. See? The thing that's so unique about this when you're shooting it is the, uh, the two rounds burst. That was two rounds going down the range. They both hit him so close together you could barely even tell. And the kinetic energy of 
not just one round hitting and throwing it off balance, but the next one hitting it right after, just bowls them right over. I got one more thing for you. Okay, so we had a nice time today with the Vector. Like I said, rate of fire is crazy, very controllable, and I really like the ergonomics. Plus, just look at the thing, it's pretty damn sexy. I think it's time to finish off the day with a nice drink. Got the whole keg of Natty Light down range, and about to make it pay. Okay, so it turned out the 45 ACP wasn't quite up to the job of piercing through that stainless steel keg. We did pierce it, we did get all the beer out luckily, but we were getting a lot of ricochets, that didn't seem safe, so we backed up a little bit, filled the gun up with tracer ammunition, and I'm hoping that as we shoot the keg, maybe we'll get to see some of those uh, ricochets, so you'll get an idea of what I was seeing. So I don't know if the camera was able to catch all of that, but I definitely saw a couple of rounds skimming off to the left, skimming off to the right. Keep in mind, because not everyone knows what bullets do when they hit things, they're like rubber balls, they'll bounce. So, had a lot of fun today, as I've said. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.